here at driverstore.com today we are going to review the solid RF auto cell phone booster let's take a look at uh, what this product entails zoom in and see this is the box that comes with the product this is the actual amplifier and that's a car amplifier which is not associated with the system as you can see you have the V plus which is six volts and then you have two ports for an indoor and an outdoor antenna let's take a look at the outdoor antenna the outdoor antenna is magnetic and it's got a little plastic underneath it so it doesn't scratch your paint job when you put it on but it's a pretty good magnet and at most reasonable speeds I would dare say all speeds uh, it's a pretty pretty sturdy magnet I don't think it's gonna go anywhere and when it ships you can actually separate the antenna from the base and as you can see as a quick install I just ran the wire down to my trunk where the gasket meets the metal and back to the box now from the box we have two other wires the V plus which I'll show you in a minute and the wire that leads to the indoor antenna in my car in particular I happen to have an outlet in this uh, armrest so I can take it and plug it in right there and you can tell that it's on when the lights on and when the switch is on in the back on the box and this is the indoor antenna just a flat bar, it's black, it'll blend in with most consoles and whatnot. Just take it, stick it anywhere. You can stick it on your roof, stick it in the front, stick it in the back, but you gotta make sure that it's facing where the general occupancy of the car is. You can't take it, put it in a corner, and expect it to work. So, let's take a look at the cell phone. You can see we got two bars, one X, no bars EV, now we got one bar and one X. So let's hop in the car and see how well it does. Now as long as your accessory outlet works when the car is not on, you don't, you don't need to have the vehicle running for this to work. Let's take it, push it in make sure it's on and then let's look at the phone you can see the bars are increasing and we're in the vehicle outside of the vehicle we only had two bars inside we have three it's usually the opposite because when you get in a vehicle your, your vehicle acts as a um, as an RF shield sort of and this device compensates for that it actually on my way driving to the spot we're actually in a really remote location in the mountains of Pennsylvania and on my way here I would stop and I would drive before I had the camera out and spots where there were no service with this thing not plugged in I would get one or two bars and I would be able to receive calls and make test text so let's switch spots check it out we're at four bars whereas outside we were at two bars and let me unplug it right now you can see the bars drop No service. It's unplug. Yep. It's unplug. Plug. I'm gonna plug it back in. You going up? No, the, uh, the screen is screen. All right. And then three bars. Excellent. Four bars. Four bars. All right. Now where's the? Uh, now we're putting this here. Let's see if we put it closer. Got let's four get... bars on both of them now. Yeah, four bars on both. Yep. Now, believe me when I say this, we are in a really remote location in Pennsylvania. Like, we are in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Look around like there's trees, state game lands. I want to find a spot where there's no service and where this thing grabs service because it's done that before. So when that gets to like two bars, tell me and I'll stop and then I'll unplug it and then hopefully you won't receive any signal. Yep. Is it off now or? <clears throat> no, is it? We still have three bars. Yeah, it's, 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 it's,
Now two bars? Yep. Will you study two bars? Uh, three V, two points. Well, for now, I'm more concerned about the one X. All right, let's unplug it and see what we got. No service. That's amazing. Yep. All right, just to text it, just to, I apologize, just, just to give it a little test. Where's that Chinese food menu? Okay. We're going to attempt to order Chinese without the device plugged in. You can see the lights off, the thing's not running, and we have no bars searching for service. All right, just to confirm that it's not going to work, let's put in the number. Warning, service not available. So, I'm gonna plug it in. Immediately we have two bars. All right, let's put this number back in again. <laughs> yeah, we really should have. But here we go. It's ringing right at a spot where we had no service. We have service. Hi, uh, can I place an order for pickup? Okay. Um, I guess we can start with a uh, order of five dumplings. Okay. I have a vegetable roll. Uh, a vegetable roll. How many? Um, one of those. How many? Just one. Okay. And so with a quart of the chicken and broccoli with garlic sauce. And uh, chicken and broccoli with garlic sauce. Large. Large. A large. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. Let's do something else. No, All right, that's it. Thank you. There we go. We just successfully completed a call where we previously didn't have service. Pan up so they can see we haven't moved. Middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere in the snowy abyss. <laughs> and just to double check, let me unplug this again. So now the system is off. And immediately I lose service. How cool is that? All right, we just got done eating our Chinese, and as I was sitting in the car, eating my Chinese, I'm trying to find a radio station. I know we're in the middle of nowhere, but I'm skipping a lot of stations when I'm trying to find any anything on the radio. I mean, a couple come in, but I knew something was wrong. See, because now it's still seeking. It's not finding any radio stations. Let's wait for it to find one at least. It's not finding anyway. Anyway, the point I'm trying to get at is that unfortunately, no matter where you position the indoor antenna or the outdoor antenna, we lose radio reception with our cell phone booster. So. I don't know how much of a problem that is going to be for some people, and from what I understand, they might be correcting this with later versions of the product, but as it stands right now, the test sample that I receive, it interferes with my FM reception. And to be honest, I don't know if that's because in my car in particular, the FM antenna I believe is built into the body. So no matter where either of these antennas are, I'm still going to get some kind of inter interference. So unfortunately, you can't have this thing on and listen to the radio at the same time, at least in my vehicle. Okay, we are right back where we started in our original location. And as a conclusion, I must say that this product does exactly what it advertises. It gives you extra cell phone bars when you don't have any, and it increases bars that you already have. So. This is actually a really useful product if you drive in and out of dead zones frequently or if you live around an area with a lot of tall buildings and you have poor cell phone reception. Um, this might be the product for you. Uh, the product is Solid RF. Okay. And 
basically my only gripe with it is that it interferes with FM reception but that's the price that you're gonna have to pay for an important phone call or a text if you're stranded so this device actually has many many useful uh, uses so uh, I should also mention that this company also produces cell phone boosters for the home office or large building use um, it's basically the same setup there's an indoor and an outdoor antenna and it basically functions the same way as it does in the car you, you put the antenna outside and then you have the box and then you have an indoor antenna and it's the same principle it, but it works for houses like let's say your house is in a dead zone you're up in your room and you can't make phone calls uh, this company also has products for that specific situation um, uh, as far as sawed RF is concerned uh, it gets my approval um, don't forget to hit uh, subscribe uh, driver store will be coming out with a lot more product reviews and thanks for watching I'm Matt at driver store take care